Preston for 2005. Now the men's uh, triple jump. Building nicely. And... Uh, Pereira finishing in third place after five rounds with 16.64. Diaz, 16.78. That for him coming in, coming with his opener. And Yasser Mohamed Triki of Algeria. Nice rhythm to that effort. Fabulous final phase into the sand. And that one in the first round for him, 17 metres 24. Yeah, final three format, Tim, though, that's how they made the final. It wasn't the best triple jump competition so far, but they're live now with a chance to really extend. And Tricky uh, really is in good form. Uh, big new personal best this year, improving on 1708 outdoors in 2019, and now a 1730 jump, as you see there, 1731. Diaz, you could see 1678. He didn't even finish it off, did he, at all? What a talent that Cuban is. And then we're going to see here whether those positions remain the same. So here they go live in the reverse order, Pereira to go first. Pereira getting this crowd behind him, they're renowned for their support for the athletes, of course, at Bislett. And indeed in Scandinavia, many of the stadia, stadiums have the crowds very close to the athletes. You feel that intimacy more. What can the Portuguese do here? Ah, oh, that's a great shame. I think he knew it. I think he knew it, just looked a little bit lacking in real zip, didn't it? Through the three phases, let's have a look at it again. For Pereira, won the Portuguese Championships at the weekend. Well, he's knocking on the door of 17 metres, his lifetime best back at the beginning of June, 16.97. That's a shame, no jump for him. He will finish uh, in third place. As was his uh, position prior to this uh, final three format. Well, next to go will be Diaz, and I talked about his talent. He, he is a massive talent. He's definitely one of the medal contenders. You look at Pichardo and Zango, the two sort of big names, if you like, uh, who are fit and, and competing this year. It's still not really been a vintage year, has it? Although uh, Pichardo edging towards 18 metres, but Diaz himself, 1783, season's best. So, a rather paltry by his standards uh, performance to get into this final 3.16.78, but it was good enough. Oh, is he hurt? Oh, he just a little luck. Oh, what a time. You know, they, all athletes are... Oh, what happened there? Is he hurt? Or... I think he is. You know, obviously, red flag. He's, he ran all, all the way down and went over. He felt it there, didn't he? Almost yes. his second stride, Steve. Let's hope that it's nothing more than cramp. Look up to the stand as well, maybe coach there. I mean, they're all athletes, you know, this is the, not the time of year to start picking up injuries. As I said, he, he doesn't look as devastated as you might be if that was um, a proper injury. Maybe just a bit of cramp, as you said. Let's hope so. Well, Andy Diaz was number one after five rounds, and he will be number one, whatever happens here. Because, ironically, his two rivals, who are in second and third after five rounds, haven't produced a mark in this sixth and final round. He's only had one jump himself. That was his opener. Oh, that looks big. That looks big. It's certainly beyond 17 metres. Remember, 1678 in round one. Then he sat out rounds two, three, four and five. But he bookends his competition with what was initially the best jump of the evening, and then a better jump there. Well, the Algerian, in fact, the computer has just somewhat bizarrely updated. 17.24, he jumped with his opener in the sixth round there, 17.23. It was Diaz who jumped 16.78 with his opener. And 17 meters in the second round I means three jumps over 17 meters for tricky a very comfortable victory eventually he's won this by almost half a meter his best jump of the series in the first round 1724 he almost matches it there with that sixth and final round effort